Hey, 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 good morning, everybody. Don here from Super Blast. Getting the rig all ready to go. Nice little backup lights. That's what we look like going down the road. Hopefully, that's not too annoying for the people behind me. <laughs> all right, we're going to be going. It's hot today. We're iced up and ready to go. It is quite early, and it's uh, 10 to 7 a.m. There's not one breath of air in the sky, not one cloud. Dead calm is what we're looking for this morning. We're going to be doing a roof wash on a mobile home. A couple sheds needed as well on the roof. And then I'm going to go by my good buddy Joseph Bevan's place, and we're going to get his roof done as well today. So it's going to be all about roofs and a mobile home wash. We're going to put that Zeta together and uh, make it earn its keep. And uh, here's the Zeta machine right here. This is a Zeta 40P chem spray. And this is the valve system right here. You see this valve is pointing up, so it's going to allow chemical to come from down that way. Let's go to the other side and explain how this system works here. This is tank A, which is getting replaced. So if I want to draw chlorine from tank A, I point this this way. See? It opens the valve. To draw a chemical from here up, it's going to go down this tube all the way down there. And that valve is up, so it's allowing the flow to go over that way down the proportioner. Okay? Today we're going to be drawing from tank A. B, so we want to put this up. It opens the valve. So it draws up that way, comes this way, that way, all the way back down the same way to the proportioner over there. Now, if I want to draw chlorine from tank C, I just flip the yellow valve over there this way and it draws straight out of that tank. All right, pretty simple setup, uh, and it allows for drawing wherever you want this is the proportioner system of course it's on water full blast soaps off and the chlorine's off how I prime the chlorine is I turn the water all the way off the soap off and I turn the SH all the way up then I open this loop valve and I get it to prime as soon as I see some SH come out of there boom we're primed turn the water back up to about 40 percent and that's what I'm going to set my dial at it's set, they all set different according to what hose configuration you have. I have a lot of hose that the SH has to go through, so the water gets cut down a little bit further than most. Most guys can run theirs, water up full blast, and the chlorine up full blast, and you get a 6% mix. I'm getting about a 7 or 8% mix, as I'd rather use it really hot. This is going to be a dirty roof, and uh, it, it really gets it clean that way. That's the way I prefer to do it. All right, all right. We're gonna get an early start today. Super Blast pressure washing is ready to get after it. Of course, we are powered by Ameritech. And like I said, we get after it. We got some big commercial jobs coming up. We got a big church roof wash and building to the worship center, North Cliff Church of God, I do, do believe they call it. And then I have a... Uh, Probably about three buildings to take care of entryways over in Dade City for the county. So business is good. And then I'm going on vacation in 26 days. Go ride motorcycles for a six-day roll. All right, I'm Don from Super Blast. We'll see you at the job. Good effort. All right, here we are at the job, folks. Man, that sun's bright. All right, this mobile home's got some serious algae all over it. We'll hook up right to this. That's the best water source right there. All right, first we're gonna do the roof. And we gotta clean the roof on that shed right there and the roof on the shed back there. Let's see what this roof right here looks like. That one is okay. All right, we're gonna be starting right here. We got our Zeta hose run all the way over. We'll be able to reach this from the ground. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the roof from here far as I can see right there and I'll go ahead and go on the other end hit that get the rest of that 
then we'll go around the front and we'll sh the whole roof down the front all right we'll be right back i'm gonna get everything primed up and then we'll get after it okay the first thing we got to do is prime this thing it's already primed it's got to get the soap to come out Okay, I do believe I'm going to go get the uh, eight foot ladder and I'm going to stand up there so I can see things a little better. We'll be right back. Definitely a good idea. See how clean this thing is getting we'll test the strength of our sh see if there's any difference we'll be back
going to let all this stuff dwell and we're going to get the uh the water hooked up and we're going to water down all these bushes really good all right while that stuff's dwelling up there then we'll have a look at it might have to put a second coat we'll see what happens i don't think so it's a dark greenish looking roof so i can see the difference it's hard to tell but it's going to look new all right we'll be back let's get after it all right look at that roof's looking really good it's a dark greenish gray color look at the mobile home it's beautiful looking now oh yeah that looks good up there very very good all the bushes have been watered there's a couple spots that i'm going to show you that we're going to get with the uh little pump up spray right there you see that in there I'm gonna grab that with the pump up that orange stuff in there and then there's some stuff on this painted wooden deck okay I don't want to get too crazy with pressure so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna go ahead even the uh, roof mix didn't get this black stuff off so we're gonna spray this with 12.5 percent sh straight out of the pump up have a look at it all this mold is cleaning up we'll just go ahead and spray it and there's one little spot right there okay and there's a couple little spots along here we'll just mist it real good then we'll uh come back and rinse it off a little bit better and water the bushes some more can't can never water them too much all right all right let's go ahead and see how these tricks work and you can apply them on your next job whenever you run into these kind of situations i always try to solve the problem so let's see if we've got it solved let's get after it all right let's have a look look at that roof it's back to its original state of dark gray with no black algae on it the front of the mobile home looks great um yesterday i was talking to ted from five star services and uh i i've never been told that i could could have been a good school teacher most school teachers hated me because i was hyper hyper adhd and i was a really ball of laughter <laughs> to myself probably only oh yeah look at that roof looks great you know i've always been that type of guy that just wants to do things on his own you know and be independent even as a kid i was i remember when i started my first little business i was nine years old and i always liked to have money and i like to buy model cars and you know dad only made so much money so I think we got a dollar a week allowance. That was a lot back then. When I was when I was nine years old, that was uh, what 1967. I think I'm seeing just a little bit of discoloration on the corner here. And I got that Zeta still running because I just hit that shed back there. I don't know if you can see it. It's white back there. But back to the school teacher thing. Um. I sprayed straight SH on this, okay? And as you can see, all that black stuff is gone. All we got to do is come up here with the wand and wand it all off. That'll all be gone. Beautiful. The sidewalks look really good. Let's go around the back. Now, I've never used a wash jet tip before in my Zeta. I'm going to rinse it out with uh, fresh water here, and I'm just going to go ahead and do some rinsing with it. And there's a one place in particular that I won't really want to try it. I've never soft washed a whole place before. Um, I can see why guys like it, but it's not cost efficient. If I wasn't charging for the roof, I'd be losing my shirt soft washing, you know what I mean? All right, let's go up here and check this out. See that edge right there? Look at all that. That roof's pretty bad up there still. So I got the Zeta running. I'm going to go ahead and hit all these little ribs here with it. Now that I can see what's going on, I'll give that a little bit more oompa. Then we'll come back and we'll rinse it uh, with the Zeta. And we'll see if we can't do that while we're rinsing the equipment. you got to run that thing. I run it about a half hour after every use. You have to. All right, I'm done. We'll be right back. All right, so that worked pretty good. It's not, it, it doesn't come out of here like gangbusters, but look at that still needs a little touch we're going to use uh the bigger the big boy right now to go ahead and get that little edge right there but the roof came out really nice looks great the gentleman's on his way to 
pay me for the job now all we got to do now is rinse the back of this off that shed came out brand new in the back there that shed came out nice that one he didn't want touched so now we're going to just do the final rinse right here and we're using soft tips you know i'm only using my 2560 because of this paint on here uh, i was warned before i came here he was really worried about this paint he said it was coming off in the back and it is so we'll just gently get this off of here but we didn't get any paint off we used a soft wash that's another reason why i wanted to do soft wash so i don't need to be taking paint off after you've been warned you got to be careful and he, and he more or less made me guarantee it was not going to come off so not only do you got to cover your ass when you're a homeowner but you got to cover your ass when you're the guy doing the work all right let's get after it I do believe this place looks smashing good when the homeowner wakes up I think she's disabled but she'll be happy not to see mold and stuff in all these roofs and when she comes out the place will be nice and clean uh, we're gonna go out front here and wash this porch off now uh, water some bushes a little bit more and this job should be pretty good and then uh, we'll be the hose will be all the way out that way and we'll be able to reel right back to the truck and that's it you see this thing is running it's rinsing and rinsing and rinsing and rinsing and rinsing and more rinsing can never rinse enough all right let's check this out we'll have one final review we'll be right back let's get after it all right take that final lap see how the hose management is there's the hose there's the rig a little bit right there and there's the water line the mobile came out beautifully clean the sidewalks came out nice the decks all clean no paint came off this was all black green nasty all this orange stuff that was in the bushes earlier well i don't see any do you i don't see it what happened it's gone it got killed in an sh flood <laughs> anyway in this corner of the roof aha looks good it did have just a little tint i got it you sucker boy that looks good i like it all right i'm so i'm so into this today i'm gonna i'm gonna go do joseph bevan's house next let's go over and see what old Joey boy's doing. Better known as Max Cheese, Mr. Powder Coater Dude. All right, that came out nice. If you are in the uh, market for some powder coating, very custom, you've seen my bikes. He does a great job. Just let me know, I'll hook you up. All right, that's gonna be a wrap for this job. And always remember, man, stress, I can't stress it enough. I had a guy call me from the uh, East Coast. Um, he was having trouble feeding his uh, soap. He has an AR-45. I suggested that he shut the water all the way off and the chlorine all the way off, SH. Sodium hypochlorite, you know, whatever you want to call it. Poo chlorine. Had him shut those two off and then turn the soap up, up all the way. That should get the machine to prime the soap into the line. That would be my theory. Because that's what I have to do on this rig here. I have to dump the uh, water off, the soap off, turn the chlorine all the way up. Do the loop system until it siphons it. You gotta, I got to get it to draw that long distance from those tanks back there. So you got to prime it. So it gets the SH moving, then I shut it off, then I add some water. And then what happens after that, folks? Bingo! The roof's clean. The next roof, you'll be able to see the difference visibly. This is kind of hard to tell here. I was having, I go, wow, man, is my stuff working or not? It was. I turned it up a little bit more, but it was working because it was wiping all the mold off of everything else. 
and the other two roofs came out really nice. Bingo, bango. All right, I'm Dom Super Blast. We'll see you at Mr. Bevins. All right, here we are. Roof job number two for today. You can see it from here how dirty it is. Good have a look. We got gutters on the house. That's a good thing. And we can hook up our hose right there for the water source. And we don't have any landscape to worry about, so that's another good thing. But it needs a nice cleaning. We'll go ahead and get after it. Oh yeah, this will this will look really nice when we get done with it. All right, we'll get up the soft wash set up and uh, get that Zeta 40P uh, doing its job today. Let's get after it. All right, let's go ahead and look and see how we get this thing primed up. This is a loop system that goes in, into the machine, water comes in this way, loops around, goes in, this goes into the water, into the tank. As you can see, the roof is becoming a lot cleaner than it was. We'll let that stuff well up there and uh, we'll be back. 
let's get after it all right take, check that baby out it's dwelling really nice gonna put a little bit more sauce right there in that little spot and we're gonna make our way down the side here job's going quick oh the chlorine wasn't primed very well it's primed now because we're we're getting some sh in the pipeline all right now we're going to hit this right here let's get after it Looking good. Let that finish dwelling. There is a dark spot up at the very peak in the front. We'll have to put some more SH up there. It's able to hit all this and stand it behind the fence. We'll go ahead and clean this chimney off as well. It's very dirty. Alright, this is the part of the roof that's really dirty. Let's watch it go from mold to gold, folks. And Joe's got a nice little ladder right there so I can hit every bit of it standing right there. All right. I say, watch it happen.
customers. All I want to do is wheelie and stuff. Very annoying when you're trying to work, you know? Trying to get after it. Okay, now when you drive by and you see this beautiful roof, this beautiful house, look at that. Doesn't it look good? Get after it! We'll see you tomorrow. We got a house wash and porch and we have a pool cage tomorrow. There you go, Ted. We'll do a full instructional video on the process of cleaning a pool cage down here in sunny Florida. All right? All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed today. Remember, get after it!